Welcome back to the Austin Automates YouTube channel where I show you how to use AI and automation to make your life, your business, whatever easier. So today I'm going to show you step by step on how you can use artificial intelligence AI to send personalized voicemail drops. OK, you know how like those voicemail drops where they just show up in your voicemail and all of a sudden someone's talking. We have a way to personalize it where it actually switches out the person's name and sounds like you or your assistant or someone sent. One example would be imagine you have stale leads. They opted in for something and you haven't heard from them in a while and you want to send them a message that sounds something like this. Hey, Austin, this is Sarah with Clean Power Michigan. It is Tuesday just after noon. I'm calling because you inquired about making the switch to solar not too long ago. As the cost of energy is going up, we wanted to make sure we reached out to you. Give me a call whenever you have a few minutes. My number is 616-737-0782. I look forward to speaking with you. Thanks, Austin. Maybe you just want to stay on top of your follow-up game and you want your prospects to know that you're just thinking about them and you want to wish them a happy birthday. Hey, Austin, this is Angela, Wade Lester's assistant. We noticed today was your birthday, so we wanted to wish you a happy birthday. Hope you have a great day. Thanks, Austin. Or maybe you're one of your customers set an appointment and you want to be able to send very professional sounding personalized appointment reminders, not like those robot ones that get sent out. Hey, Austin, this is the office assistant at Advanced Eye Care Professionals. I'm just calling to remind you of your appointment with Dr. Brian Muller next Wednesday, July 19th at 8.30 a.m. If you can't make this appointment, please call us back at 2699-453-866 to reschedule. Oh, and hey, you will also receive a text message tomorrow with our convenient self-check-in form if we have your mobile phone on file. See you soon. Thanks, Austin. And I'm sure there's a variety of other ways you could come up with sending out personalized voicemails in bulk where it says their name, some details about their appointment, just something to where it doesn't just sound like a canned message going out. So in order to do this, you're gonna need two things. You are going to need access to a CRM that can send out automated emails and text messages. You are also going to need access to the Drop My Voice software. And I'm gonna get into both of those. So I use a CRM called High Level and I'm gonna show you how I have it set up inside of there. It's very simple. And then I'm gonna show you how you can get access to this super simple training doc that I set up. It's really how to set everything up step-by-step, step, how to get access to drop my voice. And then the step-by-step -step tutorials, there's even a snapshot in there if you're using high level. If you don't have a CRM, I show you how to get hooked up with a CRM. I show you step-by-step -step how to sign up for your 14 day trial of drop my voice. And then I actually can transfer over all of the things that you need into your CRM to make it work. And then there's some very simple training programs. I'll show you how to get all that in the end. You can use this with any CRM. I just have it built out in high level. So this is what it looks like if we dive into high level. So right off the bat, inside of high level, there's a couple ways that I can actually set this up. I can either use this with the dialer to where let's say I'm making a phone call and I want to leave someone a voice message, a template that I have set. I'll show you the templates here in a second. A template that I had set, instead of actually leaving the voicemail, I just hit a button and then boom, it sends the voicemail of the template. Now I can send ringless voicemails, which is what you just heard. And then I can send SMS voice drops to where it actually shows up as an MP3 file in their text messages. It's actually pretty cool. So the ringless voicemails, there's a few different templates that we have in here. We have appointment reminders. We have voicemail automotive, like the, uh, we did an automotive one custom where you actually can send out just a custom voice message. You don't have to use templates. You can actually type it out and send it to people one at a time or in bulk. We have the foreclosure one. We have a funny voicemail one. And then we have the happy birthday template set up. So what the templates look like, if I go over here into marketing and I go over here to email templates, there's already pre-built templates. And I, and on the, the setup document that I showed you, it actually shows you step-by-step -step how to create your own templates. And then next, I'm actually going to go in how you can just type out custom messages and send them. But these are what the test, the templates look like. You don't want to mess with any of these, especially the custom one. But if I open up, let's say the happy birthday one, you can see that it says, hey, contact first name. I'm just calling to wish you a very happy birthday. I hope your day is great. What we're doing is we're pulling the custom value from the CRM. So it's actually just replacing the first name of every single person. So you could have everybody in your CRM in queue on their birthday to receive just a happy birthday message, just to know that, you, that you're thinking about them. And like I said, this template's already built. When, if you have this, you don't wanna mess with this header. You don't wanna mess with this down here because this is what actually connects to the software and sends the messages. 
Then the appointment reminder one is actually really cool. It says, hey, contact first name. Just calling to remind you of your appointment. And then it has the it plugs in the appointment time. Please give us a call back. If anything has changed, you need to reschedule. Have a great rest of your day. And then it says their name again. Um, and we will see you then. And so that's if you have appointment reminders that need to go out, that instead of having someone making all of those phone calls and leaving those voice messages, you can just send this right through their to their text, or you can send it right and drop it right inside of their voicemail. All right, so let's dive in a little bit into how the workflow automations work when you want to send out bulk AI voicemail drops for specific purposes. So let's start with how the DMV, the drop my voice phone dialer automation works. So when you're using the dialer inside of Go High Level and you call someone at the end of the call, you get to mark the call status. And so this is very simple. When you mark the call status, no answer, you usually would leave a voicemail, but you can actually hang up, mark it as no answer. And then what it's going to do is it's going to send a message to the Drop My Voice software to then push the template and send a voicemail, whatever you have set template as for the dialer voice drop. So you can go into the templates, you can set whatever template you want it to say, let's say you're calling all the leads because all of these leads that came in from a specific source and you're leaving the same voicemail for every single one of them, then you can set the template and then you just hit click, boom, and then it, se it sets up that automation. That's while using the dialer. Now, here's how the automation works for, let's say like the happy birthday one. Okay, so in your system, you would have people's birthdays. If you have their birthdays, that's great. If you don't have their birthdays, this one's really not going to work for you. But if you have their birthdays in your CRM, then you just set up a, a trigger that goes off whenever their birthday is. So in high level, if someone's birthday ha occurs, it's going to set off this trigger that's then going to send them this message that's going to send them the happy birthday template. Okay, it's really that simple. And so every time on someone's birthday, they boom, they come through this. Or if I notice that it's their birthday on Facebook or something, I can add the tag. I can add a contact tag that says happy birthday. And I actually have that tag saved. Add the tag that says happy birthday. And then boom, it pushes them, it pushes them the birthday message. Appointment reminders. Very simple. It's again, if it, you set up the trigger that if their appointment status is in the calendar and it goes off a day before their actual appointment. I, so I set this. So let's say they schedule an appointment on the 25th of January and their appointments not till July 15th. It's going to wait one day before July 15th to then send out the appointment reminder template, uh, the template for appointment reminders. Again, it's like I said, it's very simple. So they set an appointment and then it waits one day before that appointment to send out. You can now you can have multiple messages in here if you want to set up different templates. Let's say you want to set up a message like five days before, two days before, same day. You can do that. It's just a little more elaborate. And inside of the training document, I actually show you how to set this up and build this out yourself. And it would be pretty simple if you wanted to add like more than one appointment reminders to the same appointment. And so that's how the workflow options work. If you have a message that you want to go out at a particular time that's triggered by a specific event, you would use the workflow option. Now I'm going to show you next how if you just want to write a custom message for one day and then send it out to a bunch of people, exactly how you do that. But this is how you set up the automations. And again, in that doc, the document that I showed you, I actually show you how to build some of these out. So if you want to set up something different than a happy birthday or an appointment reminder, maybe you want it to go out on a holiday every like on Christmas, you set up a trigger, this very specific date on Christmas to go out to everyone and say, Hey, contact first name. This is Austin with such and such company. Just want to wish you a Merry Christmas. Have a great rest of your day. You would set that up inside of here. Anything that you can plan out and put on a calendar, you can set up inside of here and then have those messages automated. Now that's two ways to actually send out preset templates that where they're going to go out on specific dates based on an appointment or a birthday or something that you've, you already have preset. Now let's say you have something going on and you want to send out just a custom message to everyone. Let's say there's a special sale today and you did not have that set in the calendar. There's no appointment set. There's no template set for that. And you're just like, Hey, I want to write a message and I want to send it out to 200 people inside of my list and I want to make it sound personalized. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go over to contacts. I don't have too many contacts in here because this is a test account, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to open up, let's say we open up Sarah Pepper and 
and I'm going to scroll down to custom voice drop text. Now, something you need to know about the, the custom message is it's automatically going to plug in their name at the beginning and at the end. Now, if you don't want it to say their name twice, so like this message would say, hey, Austin, it's Monday. And I just wanted to say that I hope you have a great rest of your week. Please call me at your earliest available time. Thanks, Austin. If you don't want it to say their name twice, you just go to the template and you change the template that says custom message. And you can actually, you could plug their name in four times if you want to. But this is set up to where if let's say we're having a sale today, it'll say, hey, Austin, it's Monday and we are having a huge blowout sale. You mentioned you opted in to receive updates and i just wanted to make sure you knew specifically have a great rest of your day and i hope to see you there boom and then i would definitely make sure the spelling is right that just doesn't like the capital words and then boom, now you have your message. It'll say, hey, Austin, it's Monday and we're having a huge blowout sale. You opted in to receive updates and I just wanted to make sure you knew specifically, have a great rest of your day and I hope to see you there. And the cool thing is you can scroll down here. And so let's say you wanted to do an SMS. You have, you can send it now or you can send it later. The now option is the one-off option. If you just wanted to send this to one person, you just hit now or now, and you hit save. And boom, once that's set, once you hit save, it's going to send it to this, that one contact, okay? And if not, you just hit later. Let's say I wanna send this to all of my contacts. I would just hit later and make sure that my message is the way that I want it. And I'm gonna hit save. You don't really have to mess with anything else. So now that message is saved inside of Sarah Pepper, just the one contact, okay? And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back and I'm going to select all my contacts and then I'm going to click add to campaign. Okay. To proceed. And I'm going to select this first one that says apply custom message to select it. So it's going to apply that same message that I saved to everyone, every one of the contacts that I selected. So now when I go to James Brown, that message should be saved in his profile as well. So boom, I go down and it says, hey, it's Monday. We're having a huge blowout sale. So now I know that I wrote that message in one contacts person's custom voice drop text area. I went out. I then copied that message by sending, I select the people I want it to go to. I copy that message. And then all I did was copy that message. Now, once it's copied, I have a couple of different options. What I'm going to do is I'm going to send SMS voice drop. If I want it to go to their text a text message, or if I wanted it to end up in their voicemail, now I'm going to set, select voicemail and I'm going to hit add and then boom, I'm going to hit send. And now that message is going to get sent to all of the people that I selected. So, so step one is I write the message in one person. Then step two is I select all the people that I want that message to go to. Step three, I apply that message to everyone. And then step four, I send it to, to, to the group of people. And boom, it's really that simple. And then this is what the message could sound like. Hey, Austin, it's Monday and we are having a huge blowout sale. You opted in to receive updates and I just wanted to make sure you knew specifically. Have a great rest of your day and I hope to see you there. Thanks, Austin. Like I said, it can be used inside of any other platform. I just have it specifically set up inside of high level. If you're going to use it inside of a different platform, we would just have to connect. I would have to connect. I would have to connect you with the developer and actually get something personally set up. Now, here's the cool thing is if you have high level or if you want to get it set up inside of high level, I do have this very simple, easy setup document here. Okay. It's if you want a high level account, I do have my link here. If you do get, start a 14 day trial with high level, I will hop on a call with you one-on-one -on -one to help you set all of this up. That's, I will do that. I do that for my affiliates. And I do have a couple other bonuses on how to set up your platform, your CRM, get your phone number connected, get your email connected, get your domain connected, your website connected, all of that. So step one is you're going to have to have access to high level if you want to set it up this way. If you want to set it up in a different platform, like I said, reach out to me and we'll have to work something out. Then step two is get your 14-day trial of Drop My Voice. You go to 
highlevelelite.com. Let's open it up. You go to highlevelelite.com forward slash drop my voice. I do have another small demo here, a little bit more information. And then you just hit start your 14 day trial, put your information in and go to the next step and start your trial. Then on the document, there is step three, that if you have a high level account, what I'm going to do is you get a, a snapshot, a copy of all of those workflows, all the automations, all of the templates, everything that I showed you inside of my account, it's already pre-built. So if we go back here and go to automations, you get all of this stuff. Okay. Even if you don't, if you're, even if you're not my affiliate, you st I'll still give you that, that stuff. If you are my affiliate, like I said, I'm willing to help you set all of this up. If you go through and start a 14 day trial of high level through my link, but you get all of this stuff, you get all of the workflows already set up. You get all of the templates here that are already set up. Everything is already done. Everything is given to you. And you could just, once we get your, once you start your 14 day trial of drop my voice, and we get your email sending domain active because you do have to be active for this to work. You can start running voice messages today, okay? And then I do have some training videos, how the workflows and systems work, sending custom messages, what we just went over today, how to send custom messages to multiple contacts, how the happy birthday template, how the power dialer works. And I even show you step-by-step -step how to create your very own templates. And then, like I said, if... You start your 14 day trial. You can connect on my for, on my calendar link here and we can help you get it all set up. That's it. It's really that simple. You do, like I said, you do have to have a CRM and you do have to have the drop my voice software. Now I know some of you are going to be asking how much is it? I do believe that the drop my voice software is $149 a month after the 14 day trial. Okay. And then you do, you get up to 3000 messages and compared to other companies I've seen out there sending even just robotic voicemail drops, they're around the $300, $400, $500 mark per month. And it's not personalized. It doesn't sound very human-ish and it's just robotic. Like I said, you do need a CRM. You do need to be able to send out automated emails. It is run through, Drop My Voice is run through emails. You do not get charged your Twilio account. You don't have to pay for Drop My Voice and get charged Twilio charges. That comes out of the Drop My Voice software. And it's really that simple. And so if you have different ways that you could be using this and you feel like appointment reminders, happy birthdays, you might have a different idea that comes up and you need help building out a template. Just let me know again on that training document that I just showed you, you can set up your own template, but that is step-by-step -step how to start sending out voice, personalized AI voicemail drops in bulk. It is really that simple. It took me a little bit to even wrap my head around it being that simple. You have a CRM. You, uh, if we're using high level, you get your 14 day trial to drop my voice and we activate your sending domain, your email address. You plug in the snapshot, then boom, you can just start writing messages and sending them. It is that simple. That is how quick and easy it is to start sending out AI personalized voicemail drops today. Awesome. If you have any questions, put it in the comments below. My name is Austin and I'm going to keep producing videos to show you how to automate your life, your business, and make things a little bit more simple. Like I said, you reach out if you have any questions. You guys have a great rest of your day and I'll talk to you soon.